अपार्ट फ्रॉम इम्पोर्टिंग और एक्सपोर्टिंग द गुड्स द अदर मेथड्स ऑफ डूइंग इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड इज फ्रेंचाइज और लाइसेंस इन फ्रेंचाइज वॉट हैपन यू गेट अ फ्रेंचाइज और यू गेट अ पर्टिकुलर अग्री यू साइन अ अग्रीमेंट विद द कंपनी वेर इन यू आर अलाउड टू यूज देयर नेम एंड ओपन अ फ्रेंचाइज सो यू वुड बी सेलिंग द गुड्स ओके विच दे हैव बीन प्रोड्यूसिंग एज पर देयर स्टैंडर्ड्स यू आर अलाउड टू ओपन दैट फ्रेंचाइज इन योर कंट्री लाइसेंसिंग इज यू आर यूजिंग देयर ब्रांड ट्रेडमार्क ओके एंड यू आर प्रोड्यूसिंग द गुड्स इन द कंट्री एंड देन सेलिंग अंडर दैट ब्रांड और अंडर दैट ट्रेडमार्क let's see what are the advantages of franchise see this is a very less uh, a comparatively it is the most cheap method or less expensive method of entering into the business okay the licensor or the franchisor is not the party to the losses whenever these agreements happen if you open up a setup let's say mcdonalds okay now they allow you to open a franchise so if as a franchise customers don't come in that area let's say in that area mcdonalds is not that famous so what would happen the franchise or the franchisee would suffer losses so in that scenario the advantage is the licensor or the franchisor is not the one who is going to suffer the losses okay that will occur due to foreign business it would be the franchisee or the licensee who will have to suffer the losses now as the business is in the foreign country so it would be managed by the franchisee or the licensee who will be a local person okay so what would be the advantage here there would be lower risk of business takeovers or government interventions whenever the business is being done there are chances that the government intervenes if he feels that the foreign company is earning more or they may impose taxes to get a pie these are very common things which happen in the international trade so when you are going by way of a franchise or a license you are safeguarding yourself from such things okay now the la- licensee or the franchisee as i told you is a local person so what will ha- happen obviously he has a better knowledge market knowledge compared to the company that who is in the other country and hence he has the knowledge also he has the contacts so he has the contact to reach the right person and get your get deals for your company okay now remember only the parties to the licensing or the franchising agreement would be legally entitled to make use of the licensors or franchisers copyrights patents and brand names in the foreign country so if coca cola is licensing out here it would be only to the person to whom the license has been given would be able to use the copyrights that is print the logo and the name of coca cola on the bottle okay and use that particular brand name in the foreign country as a result what happens here is other firms which are present in the foreign market will not be able to use such trademarks or patents okay so these are the advantages of going for a franchise or a licensing agreement now what are the disadvantages out here see there is a severe competition which is present the danger that the licensee can start a market of an identical product under a slightly brand different brand name is quite high okay many a times what happens let's say a burger company comes to india by way of franchise okay now the person who takes the franchise that is the franchisee he learns all the nitty gritties of the trade and then he under a different name opens a identical business and a slight variation in the product that is being offered this is very common okay so instead of burger let's say if he wants to set up in mumbai so he has an idea that instead of a burger sell a slight variation of the burger okay with similar kind of ingredients so in that scenario the competition would increase okay and ultimately the company which gave the franchise would be that is a franchisor would be under the losses now the trade secrets i told you if you are using a special ingredient or if you are there are trade secrets to your business that get divulged okay to other people in the foreign markets so any of your franchisee if they 
decide to take advantage of those trade secrets and pass it on to your competitors then you will be at loss conflicts a very common issue which is being faced see the conflicts can happen because of in the areas of maintenance of accounts payment of royalty and non adherence to norms so if there is a conflict what will happen the chances are that the differences will result in litigation charges okay now whenever there is a litigation never think in that way that the company who is filing a case would be at advantage both the parties will have to bear the cost of litigation and remember we are dealing in a international market so the litigations become very costly so these have to be kept in mind when you are giving your business for franchise or license